You are 100% right about these people. Read that again. This is what God has to say about them. Read it again for the purpose. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So now, after reading this, God is telling you the people that call themselves Jewish, they are not the Jews. They are the synagogue of Satan. So you should be asking yourself a question, who are the Jews then? Why they keep running around there and say they are the Jews, right? Why they casted them. Huh? They sent them, they took them out. We are. Right. Where, where, where are your fathers from? Huh? Where are your fathers from? Here? Right. Where? Where are you from? What's your background? Asiatic. Hmm? What's the Asiatic? I'm not from here. I know I'm not from here. My people is not from here. You mean reside, right? Where's your father born? What country? Right here. Right here. America. So you're not an Asiatic man. You are of the tribe of Judah. You are Israelite. Right. You are the true people that God chose. You understand? Uh, go back to uh, Psalms chapter 83, verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. In 1492, they cut us off from being a nation. They put us into slavery and erased our mind. Because once, uh, what did they do? They prevented us from reading and writing. Why? Because they didn't want you to know what was in this book. 400 years of captivity, and when your mind was totally destroyed, then they freed you. That is what I'm saying? We're gonna continue reading to see who did this to us. And then I'm going to show you slavery in the Bible to see that you are the children of Israel. Right. Read. And let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Now ask yourself a question. They say let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, but yet there's a country named Israel standing there. There's a group of people calling themselves Israelis. So they just wanted to erase the true Israelites out of this world and replace us with something else. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. Stop. With one consent. All those nations we are about to name, they are in full agreement, regardless if you see them warring with each other right now. When it comes to us, they are in full agreement. Read. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom is your white man, so-called white man. Because like the brother said, there's no man walking around looking like that paper or your shirt. There's no such thing as a white man on this planet. They are red. Read. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are those Arabs. What we call Abibis or Ak in the hood. They are your enemies. They're not your friend. So as much as they're calling you, what up, Ak? What up, Ak? They're not your friend. They're not your people. Read. Of Moab. Moab is your Chinese people, they're not your friend either. They come in your neighborhood, set up their stores, and take your money and go back in their neighborhood, send their kids to college. All thanks to you, especially the women with their hair. Read. And the Hagarines. Hagarines are more African nations. Jabal and Ammon. Ammon is Japanese. And Amalek. And Amalek, those are your people that call themselves Jewish. They are your enemies, they don't love you. In what you mean? We're reading the Bible. It's not the same way you explain it. Well, the reason you don't know who these people are, the Bible named the nations, but our mind was erased. We got disconnected to the past. So new names was given to those countries. Now, the Bible is written perfectly. You were supposed to know who these people are. But over time, na names of nations, the white man, when he conquered people, he changed the names to disconnect you from this Bible. You understand? Matthew 13 and 9. It, 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 they changed the name. We're not, I, I, was, I was born in Haiti. I'm not a Haitian. I'm a Levite. But they named me Haitian and erased my mind from knowing that I'm a Levite. So that way I could never go back to my roots. That's why I said let us cut them off from being a nation. Divide and conquer. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Read. Matthew chapter 13 verse 9. Who have ears to hear? Let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? So, 
the, the disciple asked Christ, why do you speak in parables? You understand? You have ears, right? Why would Christ say, who have ears, let him hear? Everybody got ears, but he wanted you to pay close attention to what he's about to say here. You understand? Right. Open up your ears to listen. And don't forget what I'm about to tell you. Read. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So it was given unto the prophets and the apostles to know the mysteries of life. That's why many people will open this book and understand nothing out of it. You understand? Because they're not doing what God's will is, which is to keep the laws of God. When you start keeping the laws of God and abide in his footstep, then Give me a look, um, is it 2445? Then he's gonna open your understanding so you may understand the scriptures. There was a time I didn't understand nothing this book was saying. I was wicked out here doing all kinds of things. You understand what I'm saying? But when the when when the most I called me and I really started applying this law, same thing for all these brothers here. For some reason, this book just opened up to us. And we're gonna read why. Read, hold up. Luke chapter 24, verse 35. Well, 45, excuse me. Then open. He their understanding. Then open he their understanding. Read. That they might understand the scriptures. So that means before they didn't understand anything. But once you start walking in the ways of God, understanding will be given unto you. You understand? But don't think that you're just going to open the book, you're going to get the understanding. Somebody got to teach it to you. That's how you get the understanding. You got to humble your spirit. You got to be born again. What is, to, what is it to be born again? Um, what do you mean start over? New person, okay, so today I like playing soccer, so tomorrow I start playing basketball. I'm a new person. I don't do the old, I don't, I, my old, the old thing was... Basically, basically what you do is you got to put your, your, your step foot forward and go hard. Or again, I just give you an example of sport. You can change your ways many ways. Tomorrow I could choose to go against us. That doesn't mean I, I change my ways, but what does it mean to be born again? According to the scripture. Read. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. And said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So now, there's two stipulations in here. You got to be converted and you got to become like a little children. How do you become converted? Hold up. What converts you? Learning what? Go sit in school, learn to be a doctor. Huh? Learn what? What is the knowledge that you got to learn to be converted? I guess the Bible. Good word. Read it for us. So, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of God is perfect. There's nothing wrong with the laws of God. Read. Converting the soul. That's what converts your soul. The laws of God. That's what changes you. Because you used to go about living your life this way. And when you read the law, the law says you can't do this, you can't do that. Then you stop doing them. That's how you change. That book was uh, great uh, men of God wrote this book. By the inspiration of God. Revelation hold up, hold up. chapter 1 verse 14 His head and his hairs were white like wool Who got woolly hair? Us. Us So this is describing Christ Say his head and his hair were white like wool Christ had woolly hair First strike against this man Straight hair Read As white as snow And his eyes were as a flame of fire Okay His eyes were red This man eyes are red Christ drink wine. When you drink wine, your eyes turn red. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What is the color of brass? Brown. But let's see what kind of, hold up, hold up. Let's see what kind of brown it is, read. As if they burned in a furnace. When you burn something to the crisp, what color it turns? Black. Christ was a very dark skinned man. So now, you say a cracker wrote this book, but yet give you this image. If you was writing a book, why you didn't put in a book that Jesus was white? Controversy. Controversy. So he's going to write everything against himself in the book? Because everything we speak goes against the system. Right. 
Everything we stand for is against the system. So why would the white man who destroyed you give you a book to teach you to stand against him? When he's teaching you to be submissive to him. Because when he was holding this book, what was he teaching your forefathers? Slave, obey your masters. Right. The Bible does not tell us to obey him. We are the bloodline of Christ. That's what it's Deuteronomy. King, Kings of Solomon, first chapter, verse five. You, you can't all be, black. we can't all be the blood. That's how you get these young people. Jesus, how we Show know Jesus is not for the Israelites. You, know, say? you are brother. the Israelites. Christ came out of the lineage of David. Was he a regular human That's being? It? He was a human being with the spirit of uh, the Son of God in him. The spirit that, that's in him was the spirit of the Most High put that spirit in him. So he was above a regular person, although he walked the earth as a regular person. You understand? We all have a body and a spirit. Now, read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read, 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 read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. Stop. The scripture said, because when we came out of Egypt, hold up, hold up, bro. When we came out of Egypt, we were given laws to follow. And we agreed to follow those laws. You understand? Matter of fact, let's read the agreement for him. Hold on, brother. Hold on. One question at a time. Um, keep that. Give me Exodus 20, verse 7. We all agreed to keep the laws. You understand? I'm going to read the agreement for you. You're going to take it step by step. We can't. Question on top of questions, they gotta answer one first, then we move to the next one. You understand? Like we're gonna do everything decently in order. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. Thou shalt not take the Lord thy God in vain. Take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless. That so take this name we, in vain. We as a people, we stay taking God's name in vain. We stay doing things that's contrary to God's name. You understand? Go back there. Go back to Ezra. We keep disobeying the Lord, but God said, if you do disobey my Lord, this curse is going to fall upon you. Right? We're going to read a few curses and you tell me which people that happened to. Me, keep in mind, this book was written way before 1492. Okay? Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who in, hold that sign, who in history that their sons and daughters was given unto another people in slavery? You understand? We are, we are the people that the white man took. And that I shall look and feel with longing for them all the day long. So you're going to want and, and yearn to have that child in your hand. But... And there shall be no might in thine hand. So you're not going to have no power in your hand to take that seed back. That's exactly what happened in slavery. You could well and cry. You give birth to a child, they take that kid and sell it down south to Master Charles. And that's it. That was the end of it. But I'm saying, though, like, what, what, is, what is this going to do? I, I mean, I know, I know we talk about slavery and back in the day and stuff, but then we get over that? Like, over there? I mean, and, and we talk about Hold up. This. You're not a slave today? Huh? You're not a slave today? Give me a Baruch to me an I'm not, I, I can't be a slave. Man. No, you're not? Well, why would I be a slave? I'm asking you, are you a slave? No. Why not? Because our people... Do you pay tax? Yeah, we pay taxes. Do you own your own country? Do you rule anything? No. You are slaves in America, bro. That's right. Don't get right. it confused. That's right. That's Read right. that. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. That's right. Behold, we are yet this day. In our captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity. We're still serving America. Get up every day, go to work, and slave for this nation. You're still a slave. Read. Hold on. Where thou hast scattered us. We were scattered here in the Americas and many other countries. We're still in those places. Have we ever been back to our homeland? Where they took us from, have we been back there? Ever since our forefathers came here, we've been stuck here. We're still in slavery. Read. For a reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payment. To be subject to what? And to be subject to payment. What do you work for? Every day to pay what? Bills. Bills. Taxes. That's your life. 
That's what you do. Your grandmother did it. Your mother did it. You understand? Your wife gonna do it. Your, you gonna do it. If we don't come back to this book, you understand? You forever gonna be a slave. That's the confusion you have no, in you your mind. We still Even slave. Still, he have destroyed us. A yoke of iron up on our neck. This is why you still they, uh, think you're not a slave. We're gonna read the scripture that destroyed your mind, that disconnected you from slavery. Oh, that was so long ago. We're not a slave. Yes, we're still slaves. Read right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. But because we refuse to do God's laws, we're gonna serve our enemies, which did happen and still happening. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So the most High God send those people against us because we didn't serve him. Therefore, he have us serving somebody else so we can learn, learn. This is why this atrocity happened so we can learn to obey him. Because now we willfully obey the white men. Read. In hunger, in hunger, you're going to serve your masters. When you need food, who do you go to? Who owns the food production companies? We don't own nothing. You still a slave. Read. And in thirst. In thirst. Do you own Poland Spring? You own smart water? Where's the water well in, in the hood? We don't own nothing. We live in the projects. Everything we need, we get it from the system. Read. And in nakedness. You need clothes. Do we make that jacket you're wearing right now? We don't. Do we own any textile companies? Now, you might get confused. Sean John got clothes. That, did he make them or they put his name on it? Because he's a rapper. Oh, black people are gonna love your stuff. So let's put your name on it and we'll give you a cut. Right. He's a sellout. That's right. We don't own nothing. Read. Right, right. And in what of all things? In what of all things? When you wanted to go to school, did you go to a school that was run and owned by your people? Who educated you? Elijah. Who taught you the Bible? Black, nah, I was a black church. You go to a black church, who taught your pastor? The white man, in one of all things, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He put a, who put a yoke of iron upon your neck? Keep reading. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed you. You were not freed, uh, so-called free, until you were destroyed. And this is why today you stand before me and say you're not a slave. Because mentally you are destroyed. So and we must something. come back to this truth. Oh, Hold on. Can I ask you one question? I understand. I did my research. I'm Dominican. I'm from the trial of Simeon. I did my research on it. One thing I don't understand, like, I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. But one thing what I heard a brother say um, a couple of other weeks ago is how the white people wasn't made and wasn't designed from God, how they of the devil. And the thing is, I don't understand, if God is love, how come God is going to be racist and looking at somebody's skin color? That's one thing I never understood. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you something first and then I'm going to answer your question. Thank you. All right? Give me a back. I'm always. What? You say you love Christ, right? Why do you have this in your neck? Why well, I have the cross on my neck? Uh -huh. Because in the Bible, um, Christ said, if you want to follow me, you have to pick up your cross. So this is the cross that I'm going to so, be crucified on and die. So that's how you pick up your cross. That's what you, you you thought he meant. Yes. That's not what he meant at all. What do you believe? To he pick meant? up to. And that's not what I believe in, man. That's what. This. What does he tell me? Now let's, I know this hold on. in the form because we're not supposed to worship. Idols or have so why do you have it in your neck? I right. have it because I read from Jesus' lips himself. He right. said that if you're going to follow Habakkuk. me, follow the cross and be nailed to a cross. Oh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 18. What profit if the graven image? This is a graven image. So what profit is there in this image that mm. you have in your neck? Mm. Read. That the maker thereof have graven it. So somebody graven that image, okay? Read. The molten image. And a teacher of lies. This image you have in your neck is a teacher of lies. That's right. You understand? You should not have this in your in your on, on your neck. When Christ said, "Pick up your cross and follow me," is do after the things that I've done. Follow my will. Do my will. Follow the laws. Right. And when you do these things, the world gonna hate you for it. Right. Just like they hated Christ. Right. 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 So it's not putting a. a, 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 a all right, how many rappers, how many gangsters, how many killers have a cross on their neck? Right. Are they following after the steps of Christ? No. Hell no. So they're not, they didn't pick up their cross to follow Christ. Right. They're of the devil, the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's right. You understand? Now let's answer your question, Roman 9. Let me, just, let me just put you one point. And when Christ said, follow, take up your cross and follow after him, he's, talking he's, about he's not talking about a literal cross. 
Because what was the cross used for in the past? It was death. It was used for to, to crucify people. people. Yes, you understand? Sir. It was used to crucify our forefathers. So he literally mean take up a cross and put it up on your back and follow after him. What it meant is your burden. Whatever burden you have, you understand? You're supposed to take that up and follow after him. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about literally wearing the idol. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the Romans, they used that symbol right there that you got around your neck. That was a symbol of death that yeah, they yeah, used exactly that they used to right, execute no, millions of our people. people. Right, so right. you understand that? So why are you yeah. wearing it? You that's not that ain't got nothing to do with Christ. All right, in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, the Ku Klux Klan they used that symbol. Right. You understand? Right. To, right. Put, right. to put fear in the heart of the Negroes. See, because even before the Ku Klux Klan, they act like the. Catholics and they wear this cross. All right, so when you, because when the dress. Negroes came outside and they see a cross burn on their lawn, what does, what did that mean in the early 1800s, in the they early 1900s? It means that somebody in that house is going to be lynched. That's what that means. So us wearing that cross around our neck, that's an idol. You understand? And that have nothing to do with Christ. Right, you understand? Right, right, Having right. that knowledge, you should just remove that one right, time. You say right. you love Christ, you should toss that away. Right. Now, to answer your question, Roman. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Stop. Christ loved, the Most High God loved Jacob. He's dealing with one group of people. Yeah. You understand? Read. But Esau have I hated. God hate Esau. But Christianity is in your head because they're taught you from young. God loves everybody. Mm. Yeah. God has no enemies. Yeah. Psalm 83. Mm. God does have enemies because those people he hates, hates him too. That's right. And hate his peoples. This is why they give you an image of white Jesus. When he's not white, he's in the Middle East. There was brown skinned people. There were black people. It was not white. You understand? In the Bible, I read it myself. It so, said that the, 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 the original Jews fled into Egypt. In my head, I'm like, why, if the original Jews are white, why would they run with Africans or black people? Stop right there before you even go to the Jews. Why did? Why was Christ hid in Egypt? When, when Herod wanted to kill Christ, where did he go? Where did they hide Christ? Before you, uh, Matthew 2 30. Let's find out where, did, where Christ hid, was hidden from the face of Herod when Herod wanted to kill Christ because he thought Christ was going to come to replace him as a king on earth. Yeah, it was terrible. Read Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. So now, what is the color of the original Egyptians? Black. Black. So if I want to kill somebody that's white, then I got a great army to search for that person. I'm not going to go to I'm going to hide him black amongst people. black people. Black people. You're right, they you understand out. what I'm saying? He got to, for me to hide amongst black, I got to be just as black so I can blend exactly. in. Because yep. if I'm not black, I'm going to stick out like a that sore thumb. Yep. You understand yep. what I'm saying? So yes, let's, let's get back to the hatred and the love in the Bible. Psalm 83. You're about to learn something about the people who claim they love you, who claim they love Jesus, who set up churches on the blood of the natives of this land. That should already let you know these people don't have no love in them. They broke every treaty they ever set up with the people yep. of the land. Right. Read. Psalms chapter 83, Read. verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So they, there's a group of people that took crafty counsel against God's people. Who's God's people? We read it in Roman. Who he loves? Jacob. You understand? The father of the 12 tribes. He hate Esau. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So they took crafty counsel, the enemies of God took crafty counsel against God's people. You understand what I'm saying? Because they can't do nothing to God, they just hate God. They can't touch him though. So who they can touch? You understand? I'm mad at you, you too big, I can't take you down. If you got your little two year old son walking around, I might kick him because I can't touch you, but I want to hurt you. So I'm going to hurt your seeds. You understand? This is why we're in slavery. But the main reason is because we broke God's laws. One thing I've seen, Read. even though they said it that For they have consulted together with one consent 
They are confederate against thee. So a, a confederacy was formed against us. What is a confederacy? To be honest with you, this, to my knowledge, this country and this government, the way that it is. When a confederacy is formed, it's like we all come together on, on a particular topic and we agreed with each other. We all gonna do the same exact thing to this people. You understand? Yes, sir. So read. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom is your so-called white man. Mm. Yes, sir. You understand? They were part of that confederacy. Read. And the Ishmaelites. Ishmaelite is the Arabs. Of Moab. Chinese. And the Hagarines. A Africans. Jabal. Africans. And Ammon. Um, Japanese. And Amalek. The so-called Jewish mm. people. The Philistines. You know who the Philistines are, more Africans. With yeah. the inhabitants of Tyree. Tyree is more Africans. Ash so, go ahead, read. Ashur also is joined with them. Okay. They are Ash hoping the children of Lot. The Assyrians also are joined unto them. So we just named so many countries, so many people, I should say, that come together and to oppress one particular person. You understand? And who was that people they oppressed? It was us. Because who sold us into a slavery? Joel III. Who sold us into slavery? Blacks. Blacks also. We, we sold knowledge, each other? To my knowledge. So in Africa, the, the, um, the tribes that was more dominant and physically on peak than the other ones sold each other into slavery. Because that's, Africa, what, that's what we were taught in school. Yes. Africans sold Africans into so slavery. History is written by the victim, not the victim. So now, this is why you got to go to so many do it says they form a crafty council. You understand? They think, they think 10 steps ahead. How they're gonna destroy you? Because in the uh, Willie Lynch letters, a book you should get too, the making of a slave. It says in these people have an uh, uh, an app to the brain has an ability to correct itself when it comes across substantial truth. Therefore, you gotta keep lying to them over and over and over and make the lie bigger and bigger. You understand? This is why they're trying to stop teaching um, slavery in the school. Because they want to do away with that knowledge where, where you get to a point where you didn't even know slavery existed. These people hate your guts, man. Read that. Joel chapter 3, verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a void for an harlot. Stop. When we came off the slave ships, what did they do? What is to cast lots? Auction people off. That's, that's, that's what you're watching here, right there. They auctioned us off. They cast lots for us. Sold to Master Charles for three three thousand dollars. Sold to Mr. Johnson. That's what they were doing. Healthy Negroes. They were not saying we have a healthy African. Because we're different from the African. And they hate us. The us you're about to read that. Africans hate your One guts too. I learned that a black person Black man is the only person that can go any time in this earth to survive. We all white people can't do it. Because they can't be in a we special. Because they catch Free. Cancer. Free. Cancer. And have sold a girl for what? So that they might drink. Because there's a difference between a Negro and an African. Right. We are not the same people. Right. We are two different nations. Right. Give me that in Deuteronomy. Hold that. Exodus 11. I mean, Exodus 11. Thank you for answering my question. Gonna Thank you so don't, much. Don't leave Thank the, you. bro. Listen, I'm not going anywhere. I could answer a thousand questions, but if you're not applying the things that you're learning, it, right. it serves no purpose. It makes right. no sense. You understand? Like I just taught you, this is an idol. You understand? God, if you do not do the laws, God is not dealing with you. See what I'm saying? Like, read that, read that, and then I'm gonna give you another law. Read it. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Stop. Is it talking about a literal dog? No. A dog cannot move his tongue against you. But he's referring to some, a group of people as dogs. Now let's find out who are those people. Read. Against man or beast, that they may know how the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So there's a difference. There's a difference between us and the Africans. Right, right. They're right. not even supposed to uh, 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 open their mouth against even our animals. Because mm. it says against men nor beast. You understand? Mm -hmm. There's a huge difference between us. We're not the same people. Right. They sold us into slavery. Right, that's right. Go back to Joel. No, you said African Americans, that's what they sold into slavery? No, 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 no. That, that name, African American, was given to you by your slave master. Yeah. You are an Israelite. 
because they capture you off the uh, west coast of Africa. They called you African and you live in America, uh, uh, African American. America got his name after Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian man. Africa got the name after Africano Scipio, two white Italian men. So you cannot be an African American. You did not come from two white men. You are an Israelite. You are of the tribe of Judah. Yeah, because I'm, the yeah. I'm the of the Haiti. tribe of Levi. I'm a Haitian. Tell you what tribe you are. You, you're from. So let's keep keep That's reading. Me. Where, I'm at the tribe. where, where you look at Ephraim? You are of the tribe of Ephraim. Give him a fly. Give him Everybody a fly. Got a fly? Oh, right Read. Behind. Joel chapter 3 verse 4 Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidane, uh -huh. and all the coasts of Palestine? So Tyre and Zidane is an African nation. The whole coast of Palestine is an Arab nation. God said, what, 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 what you dealing with me? We ain't got no dealing. Read. No, no, no. Like, Will ye render me a recompense? Are you going to pay me back? Read. And if ye recompense me, Swiftly I and speedily die, will I return your recompense upon so your own So if you try to hand. pay me back swiftly and speedily, I'm going to pay you right back. Let's see what they did, how they're trying to pay God back. Why? Because God didn't choose them. God already told you there's a difference between Israelites and Africans. He didn't choose them. So they're mad at that. Read. Because you have taken my silver and my gold. So they came in the temple, they took everything we had. All our silver plating and all our gold. Read. And carried into your temples my goodly pleasant thing. Read. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have he sold unto the Grecians. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. Mm. The two kingdoms, southern and northern kingdom, the Africans and the Arabs sold to the Grecians. Who are the Grecians? Your white folks. Now, this is something you might not know. Let me show you. This is called the uh, Trans-Sahara slave trade. The Arabs had us in slavery before the whites. You understand? When the whites got to Africa, we were already bound in chain. The Africans and the Arabs, were, they're the one that sold us unto slavery. You understand? This is why so many of say they form a crafty council. They're in perfect agreement. No matter how much you see, they're fighting against each other. Perfect agreement. Last scripture because somebody got to come up. Um, Isaiah 42, verse 22. 42, none say we still there, uh, 42, 22. Somebody else is going to come up, I'll give you this last scripture. So what are we supposed to do now? We're supposed to go the next, the next person is going to enlighten you on that. The next person is going to deal with that. With you. I'm going to leave you with this scripture. Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We are robbed and spoiled. Okay, read. They are all of them. They're in homes. They are hid in prison houses. Who make up the highest population of the prison? Blacks. We do, black and Hispanics. Why? Because our mind is messed up. Because in slavery, they damage us, bro. We are damaged goods. Until we come back to this book, we, we're always going to stay damaged. Read. They are for a prey and none deliverance. So we are for a prey. Everybody take advantage of us. And nobody want to deliver us. But thank the most high God, we have a deliverer, which was Christ, who gave us the understanding of this book. Christ and that's why Christ is a black man of the that's tribe right. of Judah. That's why we are here trying to wake you guys up. Read. Right. For a spoil and none saith restore. Stop, stop. For a spoil and none stay restore. If we are Africans, why the Africans are not saying, give us back our people, restore them back to us? Why the Japanese are not saying, restore these people? None. There's not one nation that stand for you. Right. You're still a slave in the system, bro. Until you come back to this knowledge, you're forever gonna be a slave. And I pray that you do. The next brother gonna come back up, gonna come up, and then enlighten you with that question you just asked. Father, my brothers. Be strong in the Lord. In the power of the Lord. His word. 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 Everybody, listen up. Tonight, tonight's class is going to be uh, another proactive lesson. Very proactive. Some of y'all might be 
nervous and afraid, but it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. There's a movement against Israel to try to shut the nation of Israel down and or, yeah, that's the movement. But guess what? They shall fail. Everyone that comes against the word of the Most High shall fail. Because the God, the Most High said his word shall stand forever. Believe that. His word shall come to pass. He said all his counsel, it shall stand. We're going to open up with Daniel chapter 7. You have a lot of uh, non-believers out there, Negroes. See, the white man ain't going to come up against us until we crush all these Negro philosophies. And that's what's going to happen. The Most High is going to make this thing speed up. And these Negro philosophies, Latino philosophies, they're going to either get rolled over or fall in line. They only got those two choices. Joining Israel. Joining Israel. <laughs> that sounded like a simple class. Okay. 